Vodafone has been active with the TM Forum since it was founded in the late 1990s. Around about 2016, we co-founded the Open API initiative and also as part of building this open digital architecture. And that's also linked to Vodafone's own digital transformation. So the first phase is becoming a digital version of our current business. Enhanced digital channels, like a more personalized uh, experience based on data-driven insights, and also greater automation in the back office. But our real goal is to build a 5G and IoT platform business to address new opportunities, to drive new revenues based on lots of different vertical industries in an ecosystem partnership model as things like open standards and open APIs are critical. Now, when we started the ODA work, we set out three principles to drive it. The first one, if you're driving a cloud native architecture, the standards themselves must be software defined. We need machine readable standards that we can build in our automation and for example, build into our CI CD processes. And to build these standards, we must adopt the culture and practices of open source. So we need an agile iterative approach with crowdsourcing the standards from all the different member organizations. And finally, we need to move from RFP to proof of concepts as the primary way in which we engage with our different partners and build these ecosystems. There are many opportunities to drive new revenue, but open standards and collaboration are critical to make this happen. Technology Academy was created about 10 years ago to focus on those strategic learning programs that support our, our business strategy in technology. Um, now, how we develop those programs is, is quite simple. We use a collaborative, agile-based squad system where we have contributions from across our local uh, countries and markets. We recruit in subject matter experts from Niner Business and we worked directly with our strategic vendors and learning partners to build those programs. My name is Stephen Harrop. I'm Principal Integration Architect at Vodafone Group. I'm a co-lead of the API programme within the TM Forum. It's a collaboration of operators like ourselves, together with uh, vendors from around the world, all coming together to work on standardised API definitions and uh, the specifications of those. Internally, we run an API guild, a collection of 120 different API architects from around the group who meet almost daily in collaboration to evolve those APIs and to create standards and, and variations against those standards. So we've been working on the TM Forum APIs for some years now, but they're really just Lego bricks towards um, the higher ODA aspirations. So the APIs act as the building blocks that which allow the standardized components and software components to be run in a cloud native environment. And that would eventually replace our existing legacy OSS and BSS architectures. So what's next? So in December last year, we launched a new initiative called the Open Digital Architecture Component Accelerator. And the goal is to go beyond just open APIs and develop uh, standards for cloud native software components. In fact, the ultimate goal is to build a software marketplace where vendors can offer independently deployable software components and operators like Vodafone can go and rapidly assemble new solutions. Whether you work for a software vendor, a systems integrator or another operator, my call out to you is to join this collaborative process. I believe the telecoms industry is at a critical junction in its history and there are fantastic opportunities to develop new services that can have a really positive impact on society. And open standards of collaboration are critical to make this happen.